Being an actor means auditions. And with self-tapes being the go-to method as of late, here are some tips on making a self-tape. Let's make a right left here. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Good people, I'm John with J. Beleza. Thank you for taking a look see at my video. If this is your first time to my channel and you're interested in succeeding in entertainment, then subscribe and click the bell notification so you do not miss out. The age of auditions has drastically changed from the days of old of doing those cold reads. Where when working and breaking down a script on a character was literally surrounded by other actors because you were given the sides on the day. Or even being in the hallway away from everybody just trying to break down the script girl. Where do I start? What's my first moment? How do I do this? But now, even with a day's notice, you usually have the comfort of your own home. And with self-taping being more and more the way, it's best to understand the craft of self-taping. First of all, very simple, practice doing it on your own. Learn your setup and where you're going to film. The process of getting it to look a specific way and correctly, and also where and how to set up your equipment is important to the practice and process. Knowing everything from operating the camera, the lights, and even editing the footage is an important skill and part of the craft of the self-taping. The more you practice this, and not just when you get an audition, but on your own, the better quality your self-taping will become. Everything from the camera style, angle, even where to look. Maybe you might mark an eye line. So every time you have an audition, you automatically know where to look. You know where the camera stand goes because you mark the floor and you have everything set up and ready to go. The idea is to be comfortable with your setup, setting it up and getting ready to be in front of the camera so it does not interfere with your performance and you're relaxed. One, less stress. Secondly, it's a good way to know your face and of course the connection with the camera. Me looking at the camera, me looking away from the camera, me on an angle. These are all important things to understand. How you feel comfortable and the way you look best in yourself. Know your shots, mids, close-ups, everything and anything. Know what you look like and feel within those shot ranges. Do you have presence on film or are you drone? These are things you're practicing. And this is all easy to do because all you gotta do is look back at the footage. You have time, there's no rush to get an audition self-tape in because you are practicing. And yeah, I realize you could do this when you have an audition too. You do the audition, then you look at the film, you say, you know what, let me try it again, let me try it again. But the point is to practice and get used to your face on the camera so you don't have to worry about these things as much. You can then focus on your performance. Just know your movement, know your face, and how it works off the camera. Because the smallest movements can be the biggest distractions. Because ultimately, it's good to clean up your performance and your feel with the camera before a real audition or a real self-tape. One less stress. The third thing is really practice monologues and scenes as often as you can, especially on the camera. Well, what are you practicing? I mean, you're not going to use these things, right? In this situation, you are practicing how to break down monologues and scenes. Learning how to break down a monologue or a moment or even a side, which is the script they give you when you do your audition, is a craft all in itself. And it's good to learn that process and mix it up. You know, get a feel for chunky bits or even an under five. You want to know what and where you're comfortable with so you learn what you need to work on and yada yada yada. Because you'll be surprised how hard it is to say the only line that you have in the audition. What? 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 What can boggle your mind? Because you want to work out different fields and different genres so you can get the hang of this and take control over your self-taping process. Because the more you work on how to break down scripts, how to be involved with the camera and get your face working and understanding your connection with the audience. And you will have one less stress. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a Brazilian entertainer. Please like, comment, and share the video along with subscribing for future content. Have questions? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't work too hard, but be productive. And remember to look around at the people so you can work together, grow together, and rise together. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? A do you, punk? A do you?
Und Deal.